Hi, I'm Molix. Today I'm going to teach you how to set dynamic models in the entity framework. Here are my models. First one is student, another one is teacher. And this is my base class, this base entity. And here are properties ID, created date, and modified date. It is easy when you are dealing with the database that contains small amount of table. But it is very hard when your database have more than 100 tables. For that you should write a code db set table 1, db set table 2 and then and so on db set table 100. Today we will learn how to reduce that code. Here I have already created my db context class. And here is my data set initializer logic. Here I have added entities. Let's start our code. For this tutorial, it should require knowledge of reflection. First, we will get types of our model. Then we will call entity method to generate our model. Let's get types var entity types equal to assembly dot get executing assembly dot get types dot where names uh, namespace should not be null string is null or empty and then under the conditions these types should not be null This type is equal to base entity. Now we will call entity methods to generate our model. Now get entity method. Entity is a generic method. So method dot make generic method and pass over type. Let's invoke method pass instance is model builder and the method argument. Here we done with our code.
let's get var contacts equal to new mydb contacts first get student data Let's put breakpoint. Let's run our program. mistake the name space should not be null let's run again now we have our model students and teacher Uh, here is list of students and here is list of teachers thank you guys thank you for